to swear in a known drug lord and his vice Shatima who is a known sponsor of the terrorist group we hear about called Boko Haram in Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president-select of Nigeria by the INEC, the electoral body in Nigeria, is a known drug lord. I don't take my word for it. Go on the internet, Google it. This man forfeited nearly $500,000 in the U.S. on drug-related issues. Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC lied on his INEC form. He was indicted and had to forfeit the sum of $450,000 in the United States related to drug use, heroin to be specific. We are able to have issued that certificate. All of us, we are already in danger. We are already at risk. What have they not done to Nigeria? What have they not abused to Nigerians? If they swear this man in, it will be the end of democracy. Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. When I welcome to this YouTube channel, if you're doing it, first time you see the channel, make enough it to hit on the red subscribe button. If you don't subscribe before, thank you and God bless you. And if you're doing it, first time you see this Facebook page, pick in this blog, make enough it to like and follow this page for more videos, update to come your way. My people, wonder shall never end. Guys, I'm not going to waste my time. I won't play video for now. This is our sister, which did Canada. She don't speak her concerning what they have for Nigeria. A bad is only in of Bola Ahmed in the book. Guys, I'm not going to waste no time. I won't play videos when I'm making a listen. Please, I won't beg you now where you did Nigeria, where you did Western world. Any of this Western world where you did, if in America, you did Canada, you know, UK, Germany, Italy, Spain, France, Benjo, anywhere you know, say you did. Please try to make a video. Let's talk about what is going on in Nigeria. Me, I cannot do this fight alone. You cannot do it alone. In fact, Peter Abi cannot do it alone, but with us, come together, we can conquer these people. May 29, they are planning to swear in Bola Ahmed Tinibu, and swearing in Bola Ahmed Tinibu, they are, they are destroying our democracy. They are bringing down our democracy because Bola Ahmed Tinibu never got 25% that will make him the president of Nigeria. So that is why me and you need to come outside and kick against the heart of these evil leaders. Please, any of this country will you do? Try and make video. Need to make video. We need to disturb Nigeria government. Say, Bola Ahmed Tinibu is not the president. I will not allow him to be the president of Nigeria. And I go on read for now. I'm going to hear from AJ McCall, this lawyer. Still talks, say, swearing Bola Ahmed Tinibu in. We you not win. We you not get 25%. You are destroying democracy. You are bringing down democracy in Nigeria. It's not allowed. Guys, I go on read for now. I'm going to see. Make a quick play this video for now. Make a hear from these our brothers and sisters. And one of our brothers and sisters say, making this video, he not go against the law, he not go against anything. Now your constitutional right, now you the a hat. And you have your own constitutional right to speak out concerning what is going on in Nigeria. You can speak out. Tell to the government. Tell to the citizens. All of us, speak up. Tell to them that Bola Ahmed Tinibu is not allowed. Can never be Nigeria president. He never got 25%. That's watch this video, then will they come back. Please share this video for me. I beg you to the name of God. Share this video. Share the video. If every one of us they speak out like this, something will happen. Peter Abi cannot do it alone. He cannot do it alone. We need to come together and help him. Watch this video, they will come back. My name is Adora, and I'm lending my voice to this cause because why not? We can't continue to sit down and watch our country, Nigeria, go down the drain. I'm Nigerian-Canadian, and as much as I love Canada, a country that is built on policies that protect its people, I cannot continue to sit by and watch my home country, Nigeria, go down the drain. The government of Nigeria is currently about to swear in a known drug lord and his vice Shatima, who is a known sponsor of the terrorist group we hear about called Boko Haram in Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president-select of Nigeria by the INEC, the electoral body in Nigeria, is a known drug lord. I don't take my word for it. Go on the internet, Google it. This man forfeited nearly $500,000 in the U.S. on drug-related issues and money laundering. This man has paired himself with a known terrorist sponsor, Shetima as his vice, and Nigerians will not stand for this. Nigerians never voted for this man. The APC rigged this election so brutally, so brazenly, people died. 
People died all because of an election. Imagine this for a second. With the case currently being in court and the swearing in of this illegitimate ticket approaching by May the 29th, I would like to use this medium to ask to plead with the Nigerian government. Please do not swear in this illegitimate ticket. Do not swear in this unconstitutional ticket. Swearing in a ticket that has not met the constitutional requirements of our electoral um, system in Nigeria means you are killing democracy in Nigeria. Nigeria is the biggest, most populous African nation and we cannot afford to kill, literally kill democracy in Nigeria after everything we've been through, after everything we've fought for. DSCJN, your Lordship, please protect our constitution. Hello everybody, my name is Green Pasture and my protest today is swearing in a ticket that has not met the constitutional requirement of the constitution of nigeria is ending democracy you see you cannot do that you cannot swear in people who have not met the constitutional requirement and the 22 electoral acts you cannot do that if you do this you are ending democracy you have done something unlawful, something unconstitutional, and I repeat, whoever does not meet the constitutional requirements must never be swear in. My name is Green Pasture. I am not taking risk or endangering my life by making this video. I'm protesting because that is what the constitution says. If you swear in anybody who does not meet the constitutional requirements of a country, you are ending democracy and that is an unconstitutional act mr president please do not participate in that inauguration cjn your lordship do not participate in any form of unconstitutional or illegal acts please and please we beg you thank you very much for all those who see this video share it and push the right narrative because injustice to one is injustice to all Thank you very much and more good pastures. Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the APC lied on his INEC form. He was indicted and had to forfeit the sum of $450,000 in the United States related to drug use, heroin to be specific. This man is about to be sworn in on the 29th of May. In addition to all of this, this man has not met the 25% requirement in Abuja as stipulated by our constitution. I want to use this medium to beg the president, to beg his lordship, the CJN, not to swear this man in. To swear him in is unconstitutional. To swear him in is to end democracy in Nigeria. He has not met the, the constitutional requirement to be sworn in as president. Please do not swear this man in. Please protect our constitution. Please protect our democracy. Thank you. Fellow well-meaning Nigerians, please lend your voice to this plea. Let us beg the presidency and the CJN to save our country. Let us beg, beg the judiciary to hasten up the process so that this man does not get sworn in. Thank you. Please make your own video, retweet, thank as much agency as you can. God bless Nigeria. CJN, your lordship, do not partake in unconstitutionality. I am taking this risk for the sake of my country. Yes, it is extreme, but I'm saying it. It was more extreme for Yakobo to have issued that certificate. All of us, we are already in danger. We are already at risk. What have they not done to Nigeria? What have they not abused to Nigerians? If they swear this man in, it will be the end of democracy. On the 29th of May, 2023 swear in number as this result is and you've ended democracy it is highly unconstitutional to swear in a man that didn't meet up the requirement he has a forged document he has a dual citizenship he did not um declare and uh, uh the election was not free and fair your lordship there are proofs and evidences to back this up do not swear in bola Ahmed. It is not the president 
is our elect. He is the president select by INEC. Do not partake in unconstitutionality. Okay, guys, when I just watch this video finish now, please, if you not say you they are there, you can still make your video and send it out. Let's upload it because this is the main time for us to do video like this. Nigeria, we all need to stand up to get our country back. I cannot do it alone. You can't do it alone. Peter Obi cannot do it alone. It is when we come together, we can conquer these scabbers. Bola Ahmed, he will never got the requirement to become the president of Nigeria. He never got it. 25% he never got it. So, sorry, Imbola and Metinibu, they are destroying the democracy. So, Lordship CJN, please, please, listen to the cries of Nigerians. Listen to our cry. President Muhammadu Buhari, you have to listen to us. You are living now. You are living May 29. Please, don't put this country under fire. Please, we beg you. Nigeria has seen a lot in your regime. And we don't want to repeat the same thing again in Bola Ahmed's Tinibu regime. Bola Ahmed Tinibu is a well no white father lord. And Kashim Shetima is the leader of Boko Haram. So we will not allow this set of people to be the leader of Nigeria. You are destroying democracy. The Lordship CJN, we are begging you. Don't partake in this aggression of May 29. Please. We love Nigeria. That's why we all are coming out to cry to make sure Nigeria is a safe hand. Guys, let me read here from Jimako. A Jimako said, It is unconstitutional to swear in President elect Tinubu without final vendit of tribunal. I pop lawyer, a uh, Jimako. It is unconstitutional to swear in Bola Me Tinubu. Like, guys. You know no man now. Uh -uh. You know no man now. Man cry. Make a cry. But I don't need. Well, I met you. People don't need to see tears with my eye now. Ah, Nigeria, I'm gonna feel for the country now. Everybody, ah, we are tired of all these things, bro. We are tired for real. Look at the country is messed up. They are still bringing this man in to kill the whole thing more. Please, we all should stand up and fight this fight. Let's forget about party or whatever. Come out. Let's fight this man. We are Nigerians. I understand many of us have moved on. But me, I cannot move on. I can't. It's my country. We got to get this country back. It's me and you who can get this country back. Please, do something. Make a video. Share it out. Condemn this act of May 29. Bola Ametinibu is well known as White Father Lord. Drug Lord. Is who is Bola Ahmed Sinibu? We all should try and come together. Make a video in any constituency you have. Make a video. Send it out. The threat is when you make a video, they will come for you. It's a lie. You have your constitutional right to make your video, to speak at your own. Protest. Say to the world, we don't need these people. Bola Ahmed Sinibu was not our choice. It was Ainek Shema who selects him to us. Nobody elected him. Nobody, nobody elected him as president. Nobody voted for him as president. Ainek Shema forcefully gave it to Nigeria. So please, every one of us should come outside and condemn this act. May 29, we don't need Bola Metinibu. Please share this video. I beg you in the name of God. Share this video. Share this video. Allow a lot of people to see this video. And you, remake your own video. Send it to me. I will post it out. People need to see. People need to know. People need to hear what is going on in Nigeria. May 29, inauguration to Bola Met Nibu need to be abolished in Nigeria. Buari, Buari, do something. Do not make Bola Met Nibu the select president of Nigeria. I hand this video here. See you guys in my next video. Please share this video. I should do so. God bless you. See you guys in my next video. Stay safe, guys. And Bye-bye.